magnets work. This is an expository text. That means it's going to explain information. Magnets work. Did you know magnets are all around you? Magnets help you do amazing things. Keep reading. See if you think magnets have surprising uses. Magnets pull. Look closely and you will see magnets can be found on a can opener. The magnet attracts or pulls the lid off of a soup can. A push or a pull is called a force. There is also a magnet in a refrigerator. It pulls the metal in the door to make a tight seal. And you can see the magnets are all around the edges. Do you know how? A magnet's force pulls object made of metal called iron and steel. It will not pull other things. It will not pull a wooden pencil or a plastic toy. A magnet does not attract all items. Magnets have poles. You have proved or shown that magnets can pull some things to it. Why is this true? The two ends of a magnet are its poles. Every magnet has a north pole and a south pole. And you can see them here with the N and the S. When you read the words North Pole and South Pole, that may have sounded familiar to you. The Earth has two poles, a North Pole and a South Pole, and they're capitalized because they're the name of a place. The ones on the magnet are not a place, they're a part of the magnet. But there's an interesting connection between these North and South Poles. Magnets have poles and Inside of this tool called a compass, there is a magnet and the magnet always pull, points towards the north and that's what moves the little hand around is we actually use a magnet that's magnetized toward the North Pole. Amazing. The North Pole and the South Pole actually have a magnetic attraction. And you can see that in this picture here. You can see the forces for the South Pole are in orange and for the North Pole are in blue. And you can see them having some very interesting reactions here. And we're gonna look more about what the interaction between a North Pole and a South Pole of a magnetic field really means. Have you ever played with trains that have magnets? Sometimes you try to put two trains, cars together, or two magnets together, but they repel. This means they push away from each other. So if you have a North Pole and a North Pole, they will push away from each other because like poles repel each other. That means push away. So North pushes away from North and South pushes away from South because like poles repel. When the train cars push away, two of the same poles are facing each other. However, if you put the north and south poles together, they will snap together like the train. So to review, like poles, the same kind of pole, like poles repel each other. That means they push away. Unlike poles, attract each other. That means they push toward each other. And this is true not just of a toy train, but of magnets because magnets always have a north and a south pole. Magnets can be powerful. We know that magnets can move objects, but does the heaviness of an object matter? Can magnets move objects that have different weights? Yes, they can. Here we see some larger magnets attracting some larger pieces of metal, and this um, little magnet is attracting some little nails. But let's look at some other magnets. Amazing stuff. There is a new train 
that uses powerful magnets to travel more quickly. Magnets lift the train above the track and push the train forward. The train appears to be moving as fast as lightning. Scientists have measured these train speeds. They are much faster than the trains we know. So the magnets on this train make it float over the track. That means at many of the points, the magnets are the same poles facing each other. Now by using some um, electricity, some electrical pulses, we can change the orientation of the magnets. So the magnets push away so the train floats up above, but then some of the magnets are going to become opposite poles and those want to attract and that's going to pull the train forward. So by switching the poles that are underneath the train and on the top of the track, the train actually moves forward. Wow! Can you imagine what magnets will help us do in the future? Pretty interesting stuff. I hope you enjoyed Magnet's work. Please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan.